Marriage is to be a union between two persons, each freely and totally committed to the others as companions for life. And the two shall become as one, and together they shall build a home. You give yourself, your life, and love into the hands of the one you love. You do so trustingly and generously. And by the same token, each of you receives a gift. That gift is the gift of love of one another. But also from the parents who brought you into this world and reared you, and from the personal world of friends and family who are joined in friendship and faith in your marriage. Mark Twain once said, A marriage makes two fractional lives a whole. It gives to two purposeless lives a work and doubles the strength of each to perform it. It gives to two questioning natures a reason for living. It brings a new gladness to the sunshine and a new fragrance to the flowers and a new beauty to the earth and a new mystery to life. Marriage is love. You may ask, what is this love we affirm? And I answer, it is a covenant you make with one another a covenant born of commitment and to each other's well-being and growth and commitment to your relationship itself, allowing the possibility of change and growth. As the Bible reminds in Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always preserves. Even in the darkest moments, you do not give up hope because you know each other is there waiting for the other with open arms, kind words, and a plan. Your love for each other, deep, pure, simple, yet complicated. Your love for each other is unconditional, absolute, and forever. You are each each other's light and each other's day and each other's night and each other's happy place, love, and world. You are each other's everything. The joy you will find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you to face head-on challenges you'll encounter on this On your journeys together, keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart. The love you share must be guarded and cherished. It is your most valuable treasure. Dustin Floyd Wainwright, do you come to this afternoon to proclaim your love and devotion for Heather? Do you promise to support her, respect her, and care for her during times of joy and hardship? Do you commit yourself to share your feelings of happiness and sadness? Do you pledge to remain faithful to her? I do. Heather Noel Coyle, do you come this afternoon to proclaim your love and devotion for Dustin? Do you promise to support him and respect him? and care for him during times of joy and hardship? Do you commit yourself to share your feelings of happiness and sadness? Do you pledge to remain faithful to him? I do. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of the gold symbolizes the purity of your love for one another, while the never-ending circle symbolizes the earth, the sun, and the universe. The eternal vows you are about to take can only be broken honorably by death. Since they have made these commitments freely of themselves this afternoon, and by the authority vested in me and the Universal Life Church and the laws of the great state of Georgia, I declare that Dustin and Heather are now husband and wife. Dustin, Heather, you are no longer separate and independent persons, but now as one. Dustin, you may now kiss your bride, forever sealing your union. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wainwright.
sometimes I feel alone, you know it's me and my guitar We're looking up at all them stars, singing where we supposed to go now Ruthie, little lady, tell me what you mean to me 